Today, we delve into the fascinating story behind one of the world's most iconic structures, the Eiffel Tower. How did a 19th century engineer overcome immense challenges to build a 300-meter tall iron tower that has stood the test of time? Let's uncover the remarkable engineering and architectural feats that brought the Eiffel Tower to life. The year was 1884 when Gustave Eiffel and his team of engineers, Maurice Koichlin, Emile Nouguier, and architect Stephen Sauvestre, began conceptualizing a monumental tower for the 1889 Exposition Universelle, commemorating the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. The initial design was revolutionary, a tower composed entirely of wrought iron, soaring to a height never before achieved. The structure's elegant lattice design wasn't just for aesthetic appeal. It was a calculated approach to address wind resistance and structural integrity. Koichlin and Nouguier conducted extensive mathematical analyses to ensure that the tower could withstand the strongest winds. The open lattice framework allowed wind to pass through the structure, reducing the wind load and preventing excessive swaying. This was a pioneering application of aerodynamics in architecture. Despite the innovative design, the project faced significant opposition. Many artists and intellectuals of the time denounced the tower as an eyesore, dubbing it a monstrosity. Critics argued that such an industrial structure would tarnish the beauty of Paris. Gustave Eiffel defended his vision passionately, emphasizing the tower's scientific and architectural merit. He stated, Not only will the tower be the tallest structure in the world, but it will also symbolize the prowess of modern engineering and French industrial power. Construction began on January 28, 1887. One of the first engineering challenges was laying a solid foundation on the marshy banks of the Seine River. The tower's structure comprises over 18,000 individual iron components, precisely prefabricated in Eiffel's factory using advanced metallurgy techniques. Each piece was custom designed, labeled, and assembled with remarkable accuracy, adhering to tolerances of one-tenth of a millimeter. More than 2.5 million rivets were used to hold the structure together. Impressively, only one-third were inserted directly on site, while the rest were pre-assembled, showcasing an early example of modular construction. Workers utilized specially designed scaffolding and cranes that moved along the tower itself, an ingenious solution for assembling such a colossal structure. The curvature of the tower's legs was meticulously calculated to offer optimal resistance to wind forces. The design ensured that the tower would remain stable, even in winds exceeding 150 kilometers per hour. This was achieved through complex mathematical models and empirical testing, highlighting the intersection of art and science in engineering. Constructing the tallest structure in the world required not only engineering brilliance, but also immense human effort. Approximately 300 workers labored over two years, two months, and five days to bring the tower to life. Safety was paramount. Eiffel implemented strict safety protocols uncommon for the era, including the use of movable platforms, guardrails, and screens to prevent falls. As a result, the project had an outstanding safety record with only one fatality, a remarkable achievement given the scale and risk involved. Beyond its structural prowess, the Eiffel Tower featured cutting-edge technology of its time. Innovative hydraulic elevators were installed, capable of transporting visitors to the top, a significant engineering challenge due to the tower's curved profile. The tower also served as a laboratory for scientific experiments, including meteorology and aerodynamics. In the early 20th century, it became a pivotal broadcasting tower, facilitating the advancement of radio and television communications. Originally intended to stand for only 20 years, the Eiffel Tower's utility and symbolic value ensured its permanence. Today, it remains a testament to human ingenuity, Visited by millions annually and inspiring engineers and architects worldwide, the Eiffel Tower is more than just an architectural landmark. It's a story of innovation, resilience, and the transformative power of engineering. Gustave Eiffel's masterpiece continues to captivate our imagination, reminding us that with vision and determination, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the engineering marvel of the Eiffel Tower. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Architecture and Engineering for more explorations into the world's most fascinating structures. Until next time, keep exploring and stay inspired.